There's something unusual going on at the Klielem Dam in Washington State. See that long tube along the river going over the dam and into the lake? That's a fish transport system by Woosh Innovations that gives migrating salmon a free joyride over an impassable dam. Its nickname? The Salmon Cannon. From the fish's perspective, this is a instantaneous transport over a large barrier that they never could have gone over before. That's right. This portable system costing around $10 million, about one-sixth the cost of traditional fish passages, uses a tube filled with air and water mist to safely transport migrating salmon more than a kilometer from the river, over the dam, and into the lake above. So here's where it all begins. The salmon swim upstream against the current, and when they get to this pass, they will naturally swim into the system. And that's where their incredible journey begins. Once inside, the salmon swim through a small waterfall and into a chute, which then takes them inside a scanner that makes sure they're actually a salmon. The scanner sends the information to our sorting computer, and the sorting computer switches this gate. And the gate says, all right, it's either going to the whoosh tube or it's uh, a reject fish. We're not going to transport that one. And this all happens automatically? All automatically, yep, and in the span of less than a second. Wow. But the real wow factor starts when the salmon is shot into the flexible tube like a rocket. Let's see that again in slow motion. So now I'm at the top of the dam, which is 50 meters high. The salmon travel overhead through the tube at a speed of 45 kilometers per hour. The entire bullet train-like journey, taking less than 60 seconds, ends with a final splash into the lake, where the unscathed salmon swims off to spawn. The Yakima system historically had about 800,000 salmon returning here every year. That was the second largest run uh, attached to the Columbia itself. Um, and by the early 90s, because all of these dams were built without salmon and fish passage, we were down to three to 4,000. The return of salmon in the Pacific Northwest is especially important to the Yakima Nation, a group of Native American tribes that revere salmon. They've built their economy, their religion, everything around the salmon. And so when they lost the salmon, um, it was a huge loss to them in, in many ways. Woosh is looking to help solve fish passage issues around the world as well. If we can help address those issues of fish passage, which exist in every country, China, Southeast Asia in particular, and South America, due to the increases in hydropower um, installations that have been going on over the last number of years, that the technology can spread from here and truly be useful in other places in the world. And the salmon cannon has another use as well, at least for TV comedians. Let me tell you how much I love the salmon cannon. I love it so much, we made our own cannon this week. Let's see where this salmon ends up. Good bombing for you. The salmon cannon, bringing joy to both humans and salmon alike. Mei Lee, CGTN, Clielum, Washington.